All right, the next thing we want to do with our uh, simplex is identify the entering and leaving variables. We know we don't have an optimal solution. So basically, almost like the extreme point method, we want to go to the next point in the graph, determine if that's our optimal solution. So the first thing we want to do is identify the entering variable. Which variable do we want to put in the basis so we can make more profit? To do that, for a maximization problem, we identify the one that's the most positive. If we we're doing a minimization problem, we do the one that's the most negative. For our example here, 400 plus 3m, m being a very large number million, is our most negative. So this becomes our entering. It's also sometimes called the pivot column. All right. So that's our entering. Next, we have to do the leaving. To do the leaving, we calculate our Q divided by our sub rate. All right, so we have 80. That's our Q. Our sub rate of our pivot column is 4. So this equals 20. We have 48. Again, our pivot column is 6. And we have 36 divided by 3 is 12. What we do is we take the smallest positive number. So my smallest positive here is my S2. This is my pivot row, that's my pivot number. All right, so we identify which are our entering and leaving variables, and next we go on to calculating an improved solution.